All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing really well. Last episode, we were doing loads of stuff with the main mission. Well, we started, we got back onto the main mission from the cobble pot stuff, and we, whew, a lot happened. We met the Court of Owls. We nearly got killed in a, I don't know, what some what seemed like a death trap. We found loads of bones of, like, hundreds of people from, like, a few hundred years ago. It was, it was a lot. It was a lot. Oh, and me also sorted out some stuff with Mr. Freeze, but that's for another day. Today, I was thinking we could carry on with the main mission and see what is going on with the Court of Owls. So, let's see where we left off. So yeah, we found this key. This key was found in a mass grave below the Gotham sewer system. Despite its age, it shows traces of a rare isotope, something we could potentially, oh, potentially detect. Right, okay. So we could probably find what that unlocks. The Court of Owls is led by a man they call the Voice of the Court. Uh, I don't think that is Talon. I think it might be someone else. Unfortunately, the voice recordings we obtained at the Powers Club were corrupted after falling into the death trap. We can't identify him or anyone else present at the club. Oh, God. Oh, there was this old lady there as well. Which The dog that she was holding... Mm, that's a bit shady. That's a bit shifty. Sorry. That seemed like a taxidermy dog. That did not seem like a real dog. <laughs> Our analysis of the key isotope allowed us to pick up an identical signature somewhere in the general vicinity of the West End district. Right. So we need to head to the West End then and see what this key unlocks and what, what it could lead us to. So I'm guessing the Court of Owls is killing these guys. All of the victims were killed, just like they were all witnesses for cases, yep, resulting in the rich being um, uh, taken out of Blackgate. So yep, that's that's where this all links up. And then we still have Talia, wherever she links up with the whole thing. Huh. Everyone in Gotham has heard the Court of Owls nursery rhyme, but no one thought it could be real, not even Bruce. The court has controlled Gotham City for centuries and killed countless people. Taking them down is not going to be easy. Nope, it is not. The court's linchpin was some guy who called himself the voice of the court. Unfortunately, we could not get an ID on him as the voice recordings were obtained were corrupted during the fall. <sighs> oh dear, oh dear. But to proceed further into this whole area, we need to go and reach the Gotham Gazette. So, is the Gotham Gazette in the West End? Yes, it is. So, this is where the key uh, isotopes link up. So, this is where we need to go. We do have loads more stuff around this area as well. So, we should check that out when we get a chance. We got an email. We've gotten a few emails. Um, wow, loads. Okay, well, let's go from the top and let's see what we have. Jada Tompkins, organ thefts. Hey Batman, this is Jada. My mum gave me this address in case I needed to contact you. There's been a big spike in the organ theft lately and the GCPD aren't doing anything about it. I know you're busy, but I don't know who else to turn to. If you recover any stolen organs, get them to my mobile clinic and make sure they're sent to the right people. Jada Tompkins, MD. Right, Jada. I think we've met her before. Um, when, the, when, when we were doing the last organ theft mission. Barbara Gordon, Langstrom's assistant. Unsurprisingly, Langstrom wasn't working alone. He had an assistant helping him with his, let's just say, less savoury work. I suspect he knew about the court too. I wonder if he was a plant. Huh. So that's how the court found Langstrom. Maybe. Maybe. Movie night. Oh, this is just a nice, this is just a nice wholesome one. Um... <clears throat> Maybe this is a dumb idea, but but maybe we could do a movie night or something. I'm sure one of us has enough space in the living room to fit everyone, right? That's such a great idea, Tim. I think it would do us all a world of good to hang out somewhere other than the Belfry. Talking about something other than work. What did you have in mind? Might I suggest a Walter Cooper picture? Quite remarkable what he could achieve given the technology of his day. Many consider him the master of noir. Um... I have an entire box set of Swift and Serious. Oh no, Swift and Serious. Just saying. Just putting that out there. No pressure. I have it though, if we want. I'd rather be eaten alive by Clayface than watch one of those films, Dick. Wow. <laughs> we should watch a good movie, like To Live and Die in Del Rio. AI. 
I've enrolled for a week in class on AI, but their reading list seems a bit little basic. Can you take a look at the list for me and let me know if I'm wasting my time? Machine Learning and You by Matthew Lau, Artificial Intelligence Real Ethics by Lee Samuel Wong, by, uh, Biases in AI Learning by Jennifer Chen, and Emotional Machinery by Giancarlo Driver, or Diver. So this is to Barbara, got it, from Tim. Alfred, workbench. Master Drake, please remember that the workbench is for everyone's use. When you have finished with one of your experiments, if you'd be polite to clear the space for the next person, <laughs> I'm writing this at my own behest and not because Master Todd has been yelling for the past five minutes. <laughs> oh. oh, we love you, Alfred. Jason Todd. Okay. I've been doing some research on the Court of Owls book I told you all about. The author was buried at Gotham Cemetery near St. Fusina Church, so I looked at some pictures of the area and spotted weird Court of Owls symbols near the building. We should check it out. If we can find the book, it'd give us a valuable intel on the Court. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. And then there was this one as well, which I accidentally clicked on beforehand, but I didn't get to read out on camera. So... This is from the Penguin, which is interesting. Let's see what he wants. It's Oswald. Don't know if you kids have access to this, but I have no clue how else to contact you. Not sure if he told you this, but the big guy and I had a deal, one that benefited us both. If you're interested in keeping it going, come see me at the lounge. Meet me on the roof. I don't want to risk you breaking my door again. Hmm. Unreliable of Batman's contacts. Historical. Yes, yeah, so this is the book that Jason was on about. Oswald Copperpot over here. We have the watch stuff going on. Might as well pick that up. Jada Tompkins. We have a good few. A good few. Are you alright, Dick Grayson? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Alright, but who should we take to go out into Gotham City? The one that we uh, haven't used most recently is Batgirl. So maybe we should go out as her. Let's do it. Court was a difficult subject for Bruce. As a young child, he became convinced they were behind his parents' murder. Really? Oh, man. Poor Bruce. Oh, how is she doing that? Indeed. We never spoke of the court at home after that. Now, I wonder if he felt he could not tell me such things. There was nothing Bruce couldn't tell you, Alfred. Only things he wouldn't. She is the best ventriloquist I've ever seen. Well done, Barbara. Well done. <laughs> right. Let's see what we can do. So, we have some better suit. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks amazing. All right, let's play around with this suit. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that looks cool. That looks nice. Ooh. They all look good. Gloves. Hmm. Those gloves kind of are a bit bad, aren't they? I mean, you are literally having your fingers out ready for the cops to identify you via fingerprint. We could cover it up with the... Ooh, the claws. That's cool. How does she not get identified with this mask? Who knows? All right, but we'll go with this cow because it just looks too awesome. All right, but we'll go with this armor. We're all good to go. Abilities. We've got three points. Nice. Yep. I always try to get the combos up. Drone firepower. All right, we've got one point left. Shocking devices. Overcharge an enemy's gun. That's nice. Or critical expertise. Hmm, I kind of think the gun thing might be more useful. Let's get it. Cool. All right, I think we're ready to go. She looks awesome. All right, Belfry. Wow. By cross-referencing the isotope in the key with Gotham architecture records, we've managed to narrow it down to a location. I'm sending you the coordinates now. Great. Thanks, Belfry. The West End. I noticed that we also had this, Barbara's story. Discover the human beneath the cowl in the aftermath of Batman's death. It's at Gordon's memorial. N 
Let's go away from you. Alright. Commissioner Gordon's Memorial. We can actually read up a bit on this place. Here we go. James Gordon Memorial. Originally, this was the Gotham City Police Memorial, where the Wall of Honor and the Eternal Flame were installed in the 1970s. The plaza was expanded two years ago to add a memorial for the Commissioner James Gordon after his death in the line of duty and the... Wow, in the line of duty. And the memorial was renamed accordingly. Engraved on the front of the statue is a quote from Jim reading, Gotham has called and we have answered and we will never abandon her. Even though it's been two years since he passed, the people haven't abandoned Jim either. They still bring flowers to the memorial regularly. Gotham City will forever be in your debt, my friend, and we'll do our best to keep her safe. You may be gone, Dad, but I know you're still watching over me and the city loved, uh, and the city you loved so much. I miss you, Barbara Gordon. Oh, that's sad. This is going to be tough. In memory of James Gordon. Montoya. to the squared up jawline and better glasses. They changed his face? Yeah, it's hard to tell from here, but it looks nothing like him. Really? Wish we had him back. Yeah. Me too. Oh. Well, that was tough. Don't worry, Jim. Barbara's doing good. And don't worry, Barbara. You know you're doing good. <laughs> right. Where do we want to go next? We could meet up with some people. More than likely, they're just going to give us challenges, which is fine. I mean, we could just knock them off the board. This place looks cool. Sky bar. You scared me. Yep, tend to do that. You must be Jim, the bartender. Hey there. Oh, not Jim. David. Jesus. Oh God. <laughs> no thanks. I'm working. Fair enough. Nice to meet you, by the way. I'm David. Madam Palomares says you're in the know about all kinds of shady dealings. Oh yeah. Gotham's gangs aren't exactly subtle, especially when they're sloshed. 
Either that or they think the wheelchair affects my hearing. <laughs> People need to educate themselves. You got that right. Just wish I could get the cops to take me seriously, even though I'm just a bartender. Why don't you tell me what you've got? Good luck. That's everything for now. Alright, David challenges unlocked. Very cool. Thanks for the help, David. We'll see if we can do your stuff in due time. See ya. All right, the Iceberg Lounge. Good to see you, Penguin. What have you got? Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. Not exactly my cup of tea. What do you want, Oswald? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? I'll pass. I prefer to stay on the legal side of things. As much as possible, anyway. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. As the owner of a respected establishment, I have an interest in keeping the streets safe. You could help. By weeding out your competition. Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. Sure. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. Fine. But I'm doing this for the people of Gotham, not for you. Well, that's the spirit. Right. We take care of his competition. He gives us certain objects and items that could be of use. Well, basically, he gives evidence into the police. Understood. All right, so this stuff is just normal. We can do this stuff over time. We're gonna, probably gonna end up doing it anyway when we complete premeditated crimes like this, when I'm not sure we're gonna do. So this is what Jason was talking about. Pages from a secret Court of Hours book have been found in Gotham City. Retrieve them to gain information on the court. Let's go. Right, so let's see if we can find this missing page. Where is it? Here? Indicates an excerpt from the Historia Sindig Strig Strigadai is nearby. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ooh. Somewhere around here. That's it. it. One of 42. Jeez, that's going to take forever. Right, well. Oh, there's Arkham Asylum. Whoa. Whoa. That's Arkham. Can we go in there? I wonder if we might have to go here for a mission at some point. Ooh. We can't get up there? That sucks. Alright. Right, so now we've got to find this. if I do. There we go. Right. So, what else do we have available? Well, since we picked up that page, we might as well go ahead and figure out what that key is. So, on the way, we can speak to Jada, and then we might as well head straight over to the West End. Come in. You've got perfect time. Jada. So, where's Batman? He owes me a coffee. He asked me to step in. Well, damn. Sorry. He really helped Mum and I out a lot. Oh, is your mother? She's fine, enjoying retirement, watches medical dramas to nitpick them. But there's still a shit ton of work to do here. 
for both of us. <laughs> Not a job for the faint of heart, is it? You've been helping people in Gotham, and that's great. So keep it up. Come visit me once in a while, and I'll pass on anything helpful I might find. Besides, Mum will send both of us to the ER if I don't keep an eye on your health. Sounds good to me. All right. Contact Dr. Jada Tompkins. She runs a mobile clinic. Works with Batman. Don Norgan, she's brilliant. Wow. I see. Do we have to go speak to Lucius and Montoya? I don't even know, because they've been on our... Uh, been on our map for a good while. So, maybe I should just double check that we don't need to speak to him. Lucius? What are you doing? Sneaking up on an old man like that. So Alfred tells me you've been working hard on your bad gadgets. There's always room for improvement, especially when it comes to tech. But you know you're going to run into supply issues eventually, right? Necessity is the mother of invention, and I'm definitely going to need more supplies. Tell you what. You keep busy with your superhero business, and I'll keep you supplied with components. You good with that? It's a deal. Thanks, Mr. Fox. Nice. Damn it, don't do that! <laughs> Montoya, I thought you'd be off fighting crime somewhere. I feel like that would make a difference. The department's a joke now. There are more cops on the take than ever. Criminals keep getting out on appeal. At least when Jim was around, we could count on you guys to help. Now you're the enemy. Feels like we're fighting the war on every front. No matter what Must be tough. Says about us, we'll always be here to help. Yep. You won't get rid of us that easily. I don't know if I should be sad or relieved. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. As much as I hate to say it, it's... It's good to have you guys here. Because we'll need more than a few honest cops to save this city. I gotta hand it to you. You're doing a better job at policing than most police. And there we go. But right now, we've spoken to everybody that we need to speak to, and I'm eager to find out what this key does and get on with the Cause of Owl stuff. And there we go. All right. It must be so satisfying being able to do that. <laughs> okay, looks like we're heading on top of this building. Belfry, I made it. Now to find that door. It will probably be well hidden. Remember the court rhyme. The court of owls is watching. From inside Gotham's walls. Got it. Will open when in close proximity to Talon Key. Nothing good ever came from an eerie glow. Ooh. This must be it. That's both creepy, beautiful, and scary at the same time. Belfry, I'm in. Let's hope we don't lose connection. Search inside the owl's nest. Hmm, I'm not liking this. Looks to be some sort of court hideout. It's empty. Strange location for it. Any indication of what they were doing there? Let me take a look. Why would a key for this place be down in the pit? Unless a traitor for the court 
had the key on them when they died. As in, a member of the court who betrayed them, and they didn't realise that they had a key to this place. That's the only thing that would make sense. Right. What is this place? Letterbox. Lack of dust indicates there has, that this has been used recently. Ooh. Ooh, no, no, no. Oh, scan the document. What document? Which document? That document? This document. Moreno. I remember that case. Belfry, can you call up the Moreno murder case? Should be in the unsolved file. Of course. The brother of Elena Moreno, a local judge. She took a leave of absence from the bench directly afterward for family reasons. It was a court of owls hit. Let me see what else I can find out. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Is that? No, it can't be the same as Talia's one. Right? Wow, look at the detail. It has an owl on it. Mm, that definitely doesn't belong to Talia. Gotham's West End. What is the order about? What are the court's instructions? All right, let's see. Looks like we've got a map to the west end. Loads of these things. Brass peg. This peg points southeast towards the Truman Federal Building. Gotham River. The Hospital. Otisburg. Bowler Avenue. Oh. Are these different members, maybe? Or different places that the court has in its control? The text appears to be in Old English. It's an office... I don't even know how to say that word. A type of card. A hoop. Hoop card. <laughs> A diade card? This matches the symbol on the order for... Ex Ale oh, this matches the symbol on the order for Alexander Moreno. Dia day means kill. The rest of the text says kill the target. Well, that's relevant. Ooh. There's these spots that fit with this, right? Yeah, same shape. Hmm. Nuere card. Court orders. Another command from the court. The symbols are different from the previous document, but seem to indicate a command and a location. Nuere means constrain or confine. The rest of the text says take them prisoner. And then we have this one. Hoop means threaten. The rest of the, se the, rest of the text says make them fear us. Right. What is the order about? Oh. Well, it has the two symbols there, so don't I just have to link that with that? Guess I was trying to think too hard. <laughs> That's an order linking Belfry. to a person. Looks like the court gave an order to purge at the Chelsea Tunnel. Construction on the tunnel was shut down when the site was declared unsafe. Purge. Sounds like a cover up to me. Whatever is down there, the Court of Owls wants it kept hidden. Let's go, go and find it. Now. Take care and keep us updated. All right, what is this place? Chelsea Tunnel. Right, so this place is closed off. Do you know what sucks about that last mission? I did it perfectly as well. Oh well. Hmm. 
entrance. Hmm. Can I get him through here? Nope. Where am I supposed to go? Right, I think it has to be down here. Ah! Here we go. Looks like this is it. Hmm. Ooh, I might turn my light on. Okay. Let's see what the Court of Owls is up to. Belfry, I'm in. Looks like they hit some kind of underground tunnel. I'll probably lose comms down there. Mark my location. I'll check in as soon as I can. I'll wait for your update. Hmm, brilliant. Right. What have you got hidden down here? What's that? Cell phone, last sent messages. It's stalking me. I don't think it's human. Right. Mm, something was following them. Talon, maybe? Has to be. Don't think I'm ready to see him yet. He's the big bad, the Court of Owls, and I'm not ready. Was that blood on the floor? What was that? Oh, I think we found what was stalking him. Ooh. Ooh, that's not Talon, that's something else. What are you? Evade Flurry. Okay. 
I need to read, but I need this thing not to hit me, so I'm hoping it doesn't. Evade Flurry allows enemies to repeatedly dodge attacks and abilities. Break an enemy's evade flurry with area of effect attacks or abilities. Heavy range attacks are under the potential counter to evade flurries. Right. So he's going to constantly dodge my moves. Oh, okay. Hmm. There we go. What the hell was that thing? Feral Talon Veteran. Hmm. Well, it has Talon in the name, so I was right. Hmm. But what was that? Hmm. Is this what Kirk Langstrom's experiments went on? Because that thing looks like it's half human, half animal. Half owl, for sure. Oof. And that looks like blood. Alright. Let's see what this thing was trying to hide. Hello? Anyone, any more of them here? Oh my god, we've entered Blight Town. <laughs> oh no. You've got to be kidding me. This place is huge. It is. Ooh, chest. Hmm, how do I get around? Eh, that way. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have been that big of a fall, but that scared me. <laughs> uh, where was that chest? Um, I... Where was that chest? Uh, it's over there. Okay. Ah, right, okay. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I'm a bit blind. My screen's a bit darker than yours, so excuse me. <laughs> okay. Well, so that's where we need to go. Ha. Oh, I thought I could glide. Guess not. Well, I managed to get back here, so. Explore the old mine. Oh, this is very until dawn. If I see a Wendigo, I'm gonna scream and turn this game off, I swear. <laughs> oh, right. Alright, so we can go down here. We can carry on. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I slipped. I'm sorry. <laughs> What was that thing? I was trying to look at what was ever in that gap. Well, whatever it was, I can't see it now. Oh, I need to watch my step. More creatures. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, my God.
Nicely done, Batgirl. Nicely done. Oh, those guys were tough. It's hard to hit all of them with the ranged attack, but we managed to do it. These guys really don't want me to further uh, to go in further, which makes me just want to go in more. Let's see what we got. Huh. Is that what we were looking at? I think it was. Yep. Was it that thing? It might have been that thing. Either way. We're progressing. So, let's just carry on. It's all just machinery. Hmm. Whatever's in this mine. I wish you could see this, Belfry. The court's spending a lot of resources to mine whatever's down here. Core samples. Oh, so they are using the mine. I was just going to say, it doesn't matter what we're looking at because they're not using the mine, but they are. They're mining for something. They already extracted what was in here. Hmm. It doesn't say which ore they removed, though. So, uh, analyzes isotopic signature of core samples, and this is, it doesn't say, it's just an ore sample. But what ore specifically, what are they drilling specifically? Hmm, maybe I can find a sample with some ore still in it. Oh, that's because there's nothing in there to detect, I see. Ah, huh, it's good that you just know the code off by heart. I don't know where you got the code from, but still. This is what we were looking at. That thing is crazy looking. And it looks like a place that we're probably going to end up fighting. Extraction room. There's got to be some of the ore that they were. Um, Extraction room. That sounds promising. Yep. There's got to be some of the ore that they were drilling. Nah. No one around. Maybe now I can get a sample of whatever they're mining down here. Ooh. Yes. That's a lot of ore. Whatever they're mining down here, they must not be getting much of it. So it's rare. We can extract a viable sample. We can analyze it back at the Belfry. Mining log. Thick folder of laboratory notes and observations. The records goes back nearly two centuries. So this is really rare. Okay. November 12th, 1841. Extraction process refined. Viable sample acquired and sent to lab for further testing. 1862. Samples testing providing exciting results. Council is pleased. 1904. Quotas increased. Mine cannot sustain this degree of output. So they were taking lots of it in the late 1800s, early 1900s. 1921, cannot meet quotas despite improving, uh, despite improved extraction process. Price, no show this morning. So they lost majority of it. Well, they couldn't find much of it by the time it hit 1920. 1935, success and refining process. Oh. Cannot afford to, re to relax. Expectations have been made clear. Huh. Oh, that's the refining process is different from quotas. So they're losing whatever they're finding. Whatever they're finding, they're not getting enough of it, basically. And then, but they are using what they have to refine it. And that's working out, I guess. 
1960, mine sustainability in peril. The voice will not be pleased. Yep, they're losing loads of it. Whatever this is, they can't find it. 2016, production dying out. This may prove to be my final entry. Right. Which samples should be placed in the extractor? Maybe these samples can tell me what they're looking for. From a crown to all breakthrough. I did some tinkering and went back to some older composite samples. Turns out what we thought was waste or was waste or just needed to be just needed a different extraction treatment. The carbonic acid damaged that sample, but the sulfuric acid solution worked perfectly. At this rate, we'll hit our target for pro Project Polius before the deposits run out. I'm preparing a report for the council. Project Polius. Interesting. Huh. The core sample, the holes in the sample indicate the element has already been extracted. This sample does not, doesn't have a note like the others. It looks like the element hasn't been extracted yet. Okay. Composite ore detected. Composite ore detected. A note of the sample reads, I tried to use carbonic acid to increase the yields on the sample, but the element I extracted was damaged. I failed experiment. Marble detected. So this is, that's marble. A note of the sample reads, does not react to previous methods. No sample extracted. Quartzite sample detected. Hmm... So which, okay, so what samples should be placed in the extractor? This sample, because it doesn't look like it has anything done to it yet. And which chemical? Sulfuric acid. Uh, can I not click that? Oh, a report on various acids and samples with some statistics on extraction results uh, and extraction rates. And a note in the margin reads, at current recovery, recoverability rates will not reach our targets before this mine is depleted. We must find more reliable extraction methods or uncover a new source. Yeah, how do I select? Reacts poorly to all previous methods. No sample extracted. Magnesite sample detected. Oh, right. Carbonic acid. The pH in the sample looks extremely high. It seems an extremely concentrated or possibly modified form of the acid. Cyanide solution, commonly used in gold extraction. Sulfuric acid, commonly used in copper mining. Compared to the other acids, it seems more of this has been used. And ammonium nitrate, a solution of mineral salt in the water, more commonly used in agriculture. It seems odd to have it here. And that's everything. Right, well, let's just double check. Um, that's magnesium. Yeah, the composite ore detected. That seems like the right piece. And we need sulfuric acid. Diamnesium. What the hell is that? You're asking the wrong person. I did not take science well. <laughs> if I ever find my way out of here. I tell a lie. I got an A in science, but you know, that was just for practice. I don't understand what that means. So <laughs> But that's something we can find out at the Belfry. Now let's get out of here now that we got that thing. I like solving the things. The little investigations, they're quite fun to figure out. I doubt we're going to get out of here so smoothly. I'm getting ready for a fight. That'll get me out of here. Should feel at home, Babs. Great. Oh, what the hell? Well, yeah, you didn't throw me down the down the pit. We are the protectors, not you. You are just bats. And owls devour bats.
Are they just destroying it? Alright, let's get started. These guys are going to be tough. Dodge. Ow. These guys are quick. Not done yet. That doesn't look good. Alright, my suggestion, leave them and just run. We really need to get out of here. That's my oh no, this is really bad. Come on, Barbara, get up there. So many of them. Where am I? <laughs> oh, God. After all that, her first question is Where am I in such a calm way? Uh, maybe where am I was a good question because we don't know where we are <laughs> and we need to get out of here. Not out of the woods yet. Let's keep going. Huh. Please tell me that's a way out. It looks promising. Up is usually a good sign. What the hell was that? We did it. God, those talent creatures are tough. Belfry, you there? We seem to have you back, bad girl. Are you all right? I'm fine. The court is mining some strange substance, and it looks a hell of a lot like. Belfry, you're cutting out. Belfry? 
You take forever to do the simplest of tasks. We have things to discuss. Come find me. What? Oh my god. Talia's back. Oh, that's good. Right. Well, I'm probably going to have to leave that for next time. <sighs> that's going to be interesting.